All right, y'all, so I found this in my closet, hidden away. I forgot about it from like a couple of years ago, quite literally. Just on lot. Nothing special about it, except the Best Buy date is September 23rd of 2019. And I wasn't planning on reviewing this, but it already drunk half of it, but it did pour a a big head on it you know with huge bubbles but it dissipated quite fast but I mean the appearance held up I mean it's your typical color of the light beer if I remember correctly of the Keystone light that was actually the last time I had Keystone light but as you see it's <laughs> it's like a highlighter yellow and the nose on it is this uh It's not skunk, it's not what you get when UV rays hit the yeast because it was in a can and it's been in a dark closet. But it's this fruit smell that I can't pinpoint. And it's not hops because at this point, see hops are the first to go away with age. So it's not hops. <sighs> Maybe it's the barley. It's not corn. Here's the taste though on it. <laughs> Let me give it another swig and I'll tell you. I'll tell you what held up the most with the ingredients. As far as the sage goes, it's the malted barley. <laughs> now, if this was fresh, you would taste the adjuncts like corn. And in this, in this one, they may actually use a combination of corn and rice. Can't remember. But with this being as old as it is, you don't taste any hops at all. And you don't taste what you smell either with it being this old. But the malted barley comes through. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Yes, a lot. But you really taste the malted barley. Whereas if it was fresh, you wouldn't really be able to distinguish the malted barley as much as you do now. Because this is what's been... This is what, what's held up the longest, I guess you could say. wild yeah malted barley now you do get the faint hints of corn maybe a hint of rice but yeah that malted barley is what comes through cheers y'all